Hey, we're going to get rolling again this week. Uh, you know, it, it's mid-April in here, and I know temperatures have been a little bit cool, but, you know, and we got to bet that it'll warm up as we end, to the end of the month and get into the month of May. Uh, but before we get to the crops, we, we want to focus on a few things in the market. The first thing is inflation. And today, you know, the CPI was pegged at 8.5%. Okay, that's a 40-year high. Bottom line is inflation is for real, and we think this graphic in front of us in here really highlights that. As you see, meat prices up around 14% from a year ago. The big runaway is gasoline prices up 49%. Coming in a close second, those used cars up 35%. But getting towards cereal and fruits and vegetables, you know, prices are up less than 10%. That's the thing that bothers us a little bit from a media perspective is it seems like they want to blame food prices for a lot of the inflation hike. But when you look at some of our major costs, actually food prices have increased the least amount compared to other things that we're using. Now, what's going on with inflation is that, that the Federal Reserve has got to look at increasing interest rates. And in front of us here is a 10-year Treasury yield. As you can see, that 10-year rate is pushing to a five-year high right now. But recently, is one of the largest spikes over the last couple of months we've seen in a long, long time. This is the higher interest rates in here. So now, how does this apply to the average consumer? What we want to look at here is what a monthly mortgage payment would be like. About a year ago, we were looking at an average, or we're using this as an example, a home price around $300,000 and a 30-year mortgage rate was at 3.4%. This made your monthly payment on that entire balance sale of a little over $1,300 a month. Home prices over the last year have appreciated about 20% in value. So that same house at $300,000 would now be worth $360. At the same time, though, if you went and got a 30-year mortgage rate today, it would run you just over 5%, and look how your monthly payment would change it would jump well over $1,900 a month, a full $600 a month more than buying that same house a year ago. Consumers have less money to spend. We think that's important to recognize in here right now. One other quick fact with this, if we're happy with a monthly payment at $1,330 and now our interest rate is at 5.1%, the house you can afford, you need to only pay $250,000 for compared to these values mentioned above. We're not saying the housing market is going to go drop that fast, but we believe that this housing market has probably peaked. As we want to pick out a hot market in here right now, we got to look at the natural gas. This is a chart going back more than 20 years, and to, in this week we got natural gas prices trading to a 14-year high. You can make an inflation argument with natural gas, you can make a war argument, but that is the hot market in here sitting today or this week. Following in a close second, though, on a strong market, you got a group new crop December corn in there. We went above $7 last week and have been on a gradual uptrend in here right now. We advise making a sale on corn today and new crop beans. And the biggest reason why we made the sale on corn is this chart in front of us here you have 50-day moving average support all the way down at 636 a bushel. Therefore, this market can drop off more than 90 cents, and we would still say it is in an uptrend. Our belief is this crop will get planted in here, and this is a pretty good value to protect. The one thing that's not being discussed in the grain markets very much yet is potential for demand destruction. Our bias is as prices are above $657, we're definitely seeing some demand pull back. Here we want to bring you some world cash prices, and this is another reason why we got to be a little more defensive on corn, is with a good crop in South America for June delivery, Brazil's offering cash corn for around $805 a bushel. The U.S. for June delivery is up at $859. That's not the same on soybeans, as U.S. is a little bit cheaper than Brazil. What we need to keep in mind, though, is going into Southeast Asia, Brazil has about a 30 cent shipping advantage. On the bottom there, we want to just highlight wheat. U.S. wheat is not competitive on the world market, over $13 a bushel. Romanian wheat is just above 11, and Russia is offering wheat down at 1051. They're trying to get market share back by lowering the price, but we got to be cautious whenever you're looking at a Russia price out there is what the insurance cost is on getting 
this commodity out of Russia. You're seeing some outrageous quotes on the insurance side of it. As we want to wrap up today, we know we went through a bunch of different things in here, um, but, but if you are bullish this market in here, you're really looking at an inflation bet and maybe a little more support from the war. I mean, if you got to pick out some of the hotter markets out there, potentially natural gas, we highlighted, we highlighted corn. You could also throw corn and wheat in there as well. Our big concern though is when we look at world cash markets, especially how world cash values are beginning to soften up. The big motivation for making a sale today was just to protect the value. We're just getting to a price level in here right now. And the fact we're into the spring of the year and spring planting's right in front of us, we just think it's worthy for a sale. A question we've had come up now recently and, and quite a bit over the last week is when do we start looking ahead to 2023? These are the prices for 2023. When you got 650 corn, beans just below 14 bucks, you know, and you've got new crop wheat futures, just give or take $10. Again, if these are values that you like, start with some small sales. I guess I'd have to admit our focus right now is more on the 22 crop before we get ahead of ourselves too much on the 2023. Any questions or concerns with these markets? Have an idea for a webinar? Let us know. Have a great day.